It's me, Quinn, and I have a story all about how powerful God is. The word powerful can mean strong. So think about this. Who is the strongest person you can think of? Your mom or, or your dad? Maybe a superhero? My parents are really strong. They can both open a pickle jar without any help. When we're talking about God, the word powerful means more than strong. It means God can do anything. Now, my story starts with a man named Abraham, who God loved very much. God promised Abraham a big family, which would be used to bless the world. These people were called Israelites. They ended up in Egypt after Joseph was there. And after Joseph died, many years later, the king of Egypt called Pharaoh, looked around, saw so many Israelites, and got worried that they would become too powerful. So he made them slaves. God loved his people and had a rescue plan to bring them out of slavery. God chose an Israelite named Moses to help. God told Moses to go and ask the Pharaoh to let the Israelites go free. Moses did exactly what God said because Moses knew that God is powerful. Moses took his brother Aaron with him and they asked the Pharaoh to let God's people go. God had to show Pharaoh how powerful he is. So he caused bad stuff to happen to the Pharaoh and the Egyptians. These things were called plagues. The river turned red and killed all the fish. Dead fish are very stinky. But the Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go. So God kept sending plagues, frogs and bugs and diseases. He gave them sores and destroyed their food. And the Pharaoh kept saying no. Then. God really showed how powerful he was. He made it entirely dark so that the king and his followers could not see. For three days, only the Israelites had light to see. And at the end of the three days, when Moses went back to the king to see if he would let God's people go, the king still said no. God had one more plague. God said the firstborn of all the king's followers would die, but the Israelites would be saved. Pharaoh was so upset by the last plague that he told the Israelites to leave Egypt right away. See what I mean? God can do anything. If he makes a promise, nothing will stop him from doing it, not even a king. God promised the Israelites that he would free them from slavery and they could believe him because they saw with their own eyes that God is powerful. Wow, what an exciting story, huh? It is one of my favorites. Maybe now it's one of your favorites too. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.